it went from splashing to quiet. And then the next thing you know is I heard the sirens. Mike Quinlan lives just a stone's throw away from the Roosevelt Park pool at the 1300 block of West 36th Street in Hamden. He says he heard and saw the moments when a teen nearly drowned there on Wednesday afternoon. Around 1230, police say that a group of young people snuck into the pool, which was closed at the time. They said a 16-year-old went under in the deep end and did not come back up. When emergency crews arrived, they said the teenager was in the eight-foot section of the pool, face down at the bottom. They pulled him out, gave him CPR, then took him to the hospital. When I saw him, it didn't look very good. Mayor Brandon Scott now saying the whole situation could have been avoided. But we want everybody in Baltimore to enjoy our pools. That's why they're free. But you have to do that when the pools are open, when there is a lifeguard on duty, because swimming in an unsafe way can cost you your life. Trespassing at city pools has been an issue in the past. In fact, in July of last year, a 15-year-old almost drowned while trying to swim at that very same pool after hours. Please don't jump the pool fence. There's a reason that this pool is secure. The mayor says it takes all of us to make sure that young people are making the right decisions. We're going to continue to look at every single safety measure that we can do, but this is also about community responsibility, self-responsibility for our young people, especially our teenagers, who we know uh, can make better decisions. And officials told me that they do actually know the people who were with that 16 year old at the time that this incident happened at last check. We're told that they were getting in contact with their parents so that they can be interviewed by police. Reporting live here in Hamden, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.